As far as I can tell, every James Bond movie has made money at the box office, even the appalling Moonraker. So how does one transform a $7 billion movie franchise into a sinkhole? Well, how about heeding the advice of actor Dominic West, who says that the next James Bond should be a transsexual? James Bond is many things. He's a fashion plate, he drives the coolest cars on the planet, he's a bit of a womanizer, and he's got a license to kill. But whether he's being portrayed by Sean Connery or Daniel Craig or even George Lazenby, there is always a common denominator. 007 is a dude. After the upcoming Bond number 25 is released later this year, it looks as though the aforementioned Mr. Craig will be hanging up his tux for good. And so the hunt begins for a new actor to portray James Bond. Yet actor Dominic West is suggesting that the next Bond should be a transsexual. Why? Because he thinks, quote, that would be cool, end quote. Now, why would that be cool? Well, he doesn't say. Apparently in 2019, if it's trans, it's good. And if it's good, it's trans, period. By the way, does West want the new trans bonder to be a woman pretending to be a man or a man pretending to be a woman? Again, he pleads the fifth when it comes to the pussy galore department. But he does have a suggestion for the new bond, that being Hannah Graff, who is apparently the highest ranking transgender officer in the British Army. Does he, she, they want the role? Can Z Zier Zips act? Who knows? Who cares? Because Sergeant Surprise Package is trans and that's all that seems to matter in this day and age of reimagining iconic pop culture characters. Yet while Hollywood has demonstrated it is totally on board for such gender bending rejigging, the public is far less keen. For example, check out the all-female Ghostbusters reboot from 2016. It only scored a woeful 51% audience approval rating according to RottenTomatoes.com. Hey, maybe the next Ghostbusters should feature an all-transsexual cast, maybe even set it in Transylvania. I'll be rooting for the ghosts if that ever comes to fruition. The female Ghostbusters flop didn't prevent Hollywood from greenlighting last year's Ocean's Eleven sequel, the all-female Ocean's Eight. And the audience approval rate on that dud? Just 45%. By the way, this gender bending is a one-way street, which is to say males are being replaced by females, and if Wes gets his way, she-males. In other words, you are never going to see Thelma and Louise reimagined as Theodore and Louie. By the way, in case you think I'm heartless, folks, I did indeed cry at the end of Thelma and Louise when the titular characters committed suicide by driving into the abyss of the Grand Canyon. I mean, they were seated in a 66 Thunderbird convertible. Why'd they have to take such a beautiful car with them? But I digress. But you know, I think I found the perfect drama queen if they do go ahead with this idea of making the next James Bond a Franken female. Check out this recent video of a trans something or other freaking out in a store after he was misgendered. Folks, we're talking Oscar bait here. Excuse me, sir, there's a young man in here. Oh, Excuse me, it's ma'am. I'm sorry. It is ma'am. I can call the police if you'd like me to. You need to settle down. You need to settle down and mind your business, okay? Ma'am, once again, ma'am. I said both of you. No, you said sir. Once again, it's ma'am. I actually said both of you guys. It was a general. Right beforehand, you said sir. Sir? Take it outside. If you want to call me sir again, I will show you. Sir, I apologize. I need your corporate number because I'm going to talk, call them and talk about how I was misgendered several times in this store. I apologize. I need your corporate number now. Amazing, and this guy, or sorry, gal, can even do his or her own stunts. Did you see how he, she kicked the crap out of that display case? Ladies and gentlemen, we have our new bond. 
Oh, he's coming for you, Mr. Goldfinger, and he's going to give you a finger, all right. And if anyone's got a problem with normalizing such mental illness, well, you're obviously a transphobe, you bastard. I mean, you bitch. Oh, damn it, it's all so complicated. For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, the Rebel has a new app. Please download that app and take the Rebel with you wherever you go.